Hello, today we fill hexagons with color and uh, implement uh, movement of our future player. So let's uh, refactor our code. Uh, let's uh, command drawing coordinates. So our hexagon grid, hexagonal grid will look uh, a little bit nicer okay uh, now we need to uh, create a function which will fill our hexagons with color uh, html canvas doesn't have special methods for uh, filling a hexagon so we need to um, do it with uh, line 2. So we'll create function that will draw a line uh, from this corner to this corner, then from this corner to this corner, from this corner to this corner, and so on. And then we will uh, uh, apply fill method of canvas. And all these lines uh, space between these lines will fill with color. So let's open our port and uh, let's go to draw line function and create here function fill hex for example. Fill hex and it will take also canvas ID as draw line also center and fill color we will call this uh, function from function draw hex as draw line function so let's um, let's create variables which will hold our uh, coordinates of our hexagons corner corners so let's use get hex corner coordinate specify center of our hexagon and index zero uh, we need to create um, this for each corner because we need them at the same time and I don't want to use for loop for this or store it in the array because I know that hexagons always ha has uh, six corners so I create six variables which will hold coordinates of corners then we will uh, get context of our canvas ID and it will be canvas coordinates get context then we will start to draw begin path fill style will be fill color variable argument from arguments of the function also we will use global alpha equals to 0 0.1 it will be our opacity of our hexagon then uh, we start to uh, draw lines from uh, top corner to each corner of hexagon we will go to top corner so this is our top corner X and Y and then we draw line to to rest corners
there will be a lot of boilerplate code, but for simplicity I will leave it as is. So the main purpose of this video is not to uh, show you how to how to write code uh, to do things faster, but to show you simplest way to do it. So let's close path and use fill method of canvas. Okay, our function fill hex is ready and we can use it now. And we use it in draw hex draw hexes draw hex this is our draw hex uh, function we will use it before draw line function we'll pass it canvas id center object and fill color okay now we need fill color argument in our draw hex function. We'll pass it here and let's uh, rename this argument to line color and pass it here. Okay, and these objects uh, actually we can use start and end argument instead of these objects because they already are already objects. So let's save and now uh, in draw hexes function we can specify first of all this will be our line color we will use black then width of line and then fill color we'll use gray and same we'll do for bottom side of our hexagonal grid let's save let's reload okay uh, we have our gray hexagonal grid we have distance uh, and we need to refactor uh, this distance drawing line so for this we will go to shoot component update and we use draw hex functions here also so we'll use uh, black color, color line we'll use uh, gray hexagon fill color save, reload ok, we see that our current hexagons drawing uh, two times and it's more darker than any other hexagons in distance line so for this we need to uh, subtract two from current distance line uh, array Lynch. Let's reload and we see that it has all hexagons in draw line has same color. Okay, so now we need to uh, highlight our current hexagon. It will not be current hexagon, it will be a position of our player and this will be distance from our player to objects on our hexagonal grid so we need to highlight this hexagon for this we will uh, create condition so if we draw our zero hexagon in our distance line 
we draw it with a uh, red fill color. Else, we draw our common hexagon. So let's save, let's reload. You see that our player position is right now. So what we need right now is to create a click handler which will move our hexagon player position to current hexagon. For this let's go to our canvas and create here one on click um, event handler and call it handle click. Let's create function handle click here and let's bind this function in the constructor. Okay, so now in this handle click uh, function, we can create object in our state. For this we will use this state we will call object player position and assign to it current hex So we need a default state for each of these player position and current hex. And it will be object with q equals zero, r equals zero, s equals zero, x equals zero and y equals 0. So let's copy that for our player position. So initially this will be coordinates of our current hex a player position. Ok, let's go to the handle mouse move uh, event handler a function and uh, we need to uh, find get distance line function and uh, put here uh, coordinates of uh, start hexagon from player position state so we will use a variable let player position and take it from state and here instead of our zero central hexagon we will use coordinates of our player position. So initially it will be also zero hexagon, but then when we click on current hexagon, it will be player position. So let's save. Let's open our browser. Let's click. And click again, again. So this is working. Uh, let's uh, get rid of this border from styles. Okay, in the next videos we will create obstacles. If you like this video, give it thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for the new videos. Thanks for watching.